Welcome to this short video of the Kobe Lab Toolkit Grading. The grading is broken up into three separate commands. If I come up here to the Kobe Toolkit ribbon, you can see here I've got Create Grading, Edit Grading, and Erase Grading. Now as you probably all know, Civil 3D already has grading in it. What I've found over the years is that the grading in Civil 3D is not very stable. And so I wanted a way to be able to grade just polylines, 3D polylines, 2D polylines, or feature lines if I wanted to. So that's what we came up with with our Kobe Toolkit grading commands. So to demonstrate this, I'm going to come over here and select on Create Grading. We'll get this Create Grading dialog box to come up. One thing that we can do in here is we can create a template of our grading. And so I'm going to start this over from scratch here. I'm going to go ahead and just delete a few components here. At the top, I'm going to give this grading a name, and I'm going to call this one Pad 1. The template I'm going to use, I'm going to leave that as is right now. I'm going to create my own. So I'm going to click on the plus sign. So the first thing I want to do is I want to do an offset and a slope. I want to do a uh, slope here, so I'm going to go to the drop down. I'm going to do a 1 in, 1 and in. And the slope I'm going to do is I'm going to say it's 1 and a negative um, 10. And the offset I want to go is, say, uh, 10 feet. Now, I'm going to add another one. This one's going to also be an offset and slope. My slope format, I'm going to change that one to a percentage. And that percentage is going to be a negative uh, 2%. And the offset is going to be 5. And let's add one more here. Instead of doing offset and slope, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to come down and I'm going to say, uh, let's go to slope to surface. My slope format, once again, is going to go 1 and N. My cut slope, I'm going to say, is 1 to 2. My fill slope is going to be 1 to 3. And I am going to grade to the existing ground. And now I'm just going to save this. I'm going to hit the plus sign. I'm going to call this one Demo 1. And I'm going to go OK. All right. Now before I finish here, I'm going to say, yes, go ahead and create a grading surface. And it's going to be called this. Whatever your grading name is, that's what the grading surface is going to be called. You can set your style in here and you can automatically do your infill. Other things I want to look at here, just go to options. We've got our sample interval. Um, we've also got our angular spacing and then our mid-ordinate distance for our curve tessellation. So this is just going to control the lines here. Our slope format is going to be rise over run. We're going to draw the rays. Those are those lines I was talking about. And I'm also going to say join surfaces because we could have an individual surface for each of these components if I wanted to. I don't, so I'm going to go OK. And I'm going to go OK. So select your object. So I'm going to select my object on screen. It's asked me if i got any more to select. I don't, so I'm going to press Enter. It's asked me to pick my side, so I'm going to pick the outside. Now I could go around and just pick my locations here so I want from here to here to grade and then I can come back in here I'm gonna do the whole thing here so I'm just gonna press enter and there you can see it's graded now if I go in here and select this contour I'm gonna just right click and go to object viewer just so you can see the surface so there it is let's say I want to change something about it so I'm gonna exit out of it I come back up to my ribbon I'm gonna select edit grading I'm gonna select the grading object I'm going to press enter and automatically the same dialog box comes up so I can make any change that I want here so for instance I might change this offset to say let's just change this offset at 2% for 15 feet and I'm going to go OK and there you can see it updated now this is dynamic just like the civil 3d grading I can grab that polyline and move this around and you can see how fast it is and it's very stable because we're using just AutoCAD polylines. And the last little feature I want to show you here is the erase. So I can come up here and go erase grading. I'll select it. I can select on my line and I automatically erase it. That concludes this short video on Kobe Lab grading. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching.